hello guys um let's move on to the next exercise exercise number 39 ex 39 and then this exercise we are, i'm going to add something new which is arrays we have been dealing with methods and now we have to uh, work with arrays and maybe in the future we may talk about methods again because we didn't talk so much about methods we didn't pass different data type in them as a parameter we didn't do that so we can do that later on but today let's try to do the exercise we have done before and this is like we we collect the student name and also the number of uh, uh, first we enter the number of students and then we pick their scores and we find who is the highest we have done this but that was a little bit more not so complicated and this was very simple by using if statement and for loops but now I'm going to use arrays and methods to see how we can uh, we can do that so the first thing I need to use a scanner again as always scanner input input is equal to new scanner control shift organize imports and then just ask uh, just ask and say enter enter number of students Okay, and then as usual, when you ask somebody to enter the number of uh, enter anything through the keyboard, you have to provide the way they can do that. So, int number uh, of student student is equal to input as an object dot next. Input. This should be input. That's why you don't see. It should suggest for us dot next int. So now the user can type the numbers. Okay. So now this new stuff here is this array. So we need int, and this is gonna be scores. And is equal to new. This is how you type. You write array int. And then bracket these boxes then you put it within the box you put the number of of students okay okay then we So uh, this is how you write array. Array, you put data type, give the name of arrays, then you put these boxes here, and then new int, and then we pass the the number of this variable here. We are passing inside here. So array is just like just like this variable here, but array can store more than one variable. So instead of you putting this only this one variable here. If you put on arrays, arrays, it's going to store more than that. So, what I have to do here, I just want to see if I can type int best the best student start with zero, and then I'm going to see out. And here I'm going to say, okay, I'm let me use string builder. Say enter with append append number of students. Alright, and then I'll append again. That append this time I'm going to type scrolls dot 
string okay and then let's loop int i is equal to zero then i less than scores dot length and then plus plus i plus plus see so this score this just an array length is found in array object because the array is an object so the length is found on this that's why i can use this variable here scores to call this length okay so we are passing from zero to the length of array so this is going to determine how many numbers you, the user or what you're gonna type here enter the number of students if you type 10 then it's going to loop from 0 to 10 if you type 100 0 to 100 so it determine whatever you type then array is going to read because this is an array okay so the next thing we have to do we need to check now we need to check we have to, to say score whatever we are looping here it has to come uh, I mean you have to pass through here through our array so score if you if it's zero it will start with zero then it's going to be equal to input input dot next int okay so we're going to assign this number here to whatever is typed okay so and then we are going to say if we use if if now if scores array i greater than than best which is zero then we say best equal to scores then you put the array here okay and here we pass the we just type string output and this time put it empty just so I like to do that and then we type for loop again for int i zero then i less than scores dot length then then i plus plus and within this for loop we are going to type a grade we want to type the grade and if scores If a score is greater or equal to best minus ten, minus ten, then this is going to be great equal to A. steps which is for groups 
looks like this which is a b c d and f is failure so yep so here we minus 10 20 30 40 and it's going to be d c b and then else we just type f we don't need to type anything whatever comes after this after d then it's f output the our variable this variable here output let's bring the output here it's going to be let me use stream builder new stream builder class and I'm going to use string dot value of outputs and uh, to the append append to student student So I, what I did is I received the data from the keyboard, and this, whatever I received from the keyboard, I pass it as an array. So I stored it as an array, as an object array. Then I started from base to be zero. Then I printed this. You enter the number of students. Then you ask you enter the score, and then we use for loop to loop through the scores. See. And then we use this array and compare with the we assign this to the number that they is entered right to this and if this is greater than zero then we push this uh, this number we assign it to the best okay and here we have we have the variable string output you have seen the way I use it here and I printed here 
so but within this I use for loop so now you can see how for loop is useful we, it's almost you cannot escape it so it's it's really very important for you to like, really understand how it works I mean for loop and if statement all that so here we have created a character which is we represent the a b c d so and they have been doing i've been dealing with this character before so you know what it means so if the score whatever comes here if the score is greater or equal to best then we minus 10 okay then that's going to be grade a so we do the same thing after this and whatever comes after this then it has to be F and this is only I tried to use this Spring Builder to print out this there's nothing fancy here we're just using the what we have been doing I could have used the just string without object it would, much, would be much more easier but I like to use this way and then we print so let's say number of students we have like five students and then you enter five scores so in this space here again number of students five or four and then enter four scores so let's say 100 80 60 and 40 so you can see the program is running but is giving us the wrong answer so depend which whichever number of the student you enter if you enter 10 they need to ask you 10 accordingly so this program might not be working correctly but this is your task to figure out what's wrong or what's going wrong either these are uh, one of these are not correct but it's up to you to find out and tell me what's wrong thank you guys and remember